In this video, we'll be taking a look at five different Dodge Daytona model kits made by MPC and one snap tight Dodge Daytona made by Monogram. First up is a 1984 Dodge Daytona Turbo painted in gunmetal blue pearl coat. Uh, this may be the first Daytona kit available. The box is copyrighted 1983 and of course the Daytona debuted in 1984. I really like this um, painting on the box. I l always liked the checkered seats. Uh, I thought that was kind of neat. And uh, it's kind of hard to see it, but uh, it does say uh, turbo on the lower door kick plate there. And uh, one thing that's not correct about this is it has a turbo electronic fuel injection emblem right there on the fender but the Daytonas and the lasers they never had those all the other Chrysler turbo vehicles uh, usually had those emblems on the fenders but not the laser or the Daytona and uh, you could build these kits a couple different ways uh, this is a highly customized version um, that you could build it to look like. It's got a massive hood scoop on there and a V8 engine that's still front wheel drive and a side exhaust and then you could also build it of course to the factory specs. That's the 2.2 turbo. And you could have it with a sunroof. Here's the side of the box. A uh, little different angle. You can see a little more of the interior with the checkered seats and uh, the turbo on the door. Here's a side profile of what the customized Dodge Daytona could look like if you decided to build it that way. And uh, right there's the 1983 copyright. And the same picture on this side of the box. So that's the First release of the 1984 Dodge Daytona by MPC. Next up is another 1984 Dodge Daytona. Uh, this box is copyrighted 1984, so I believe it to be the second release of an 84 Daytona. Uh, it's all black and it features a maroon interior on the box and uh, once again it's got the uh, turbo electronic fuel injection emblem which was never there and uh, it looks like the door handle was painted chrome and they were always uh, kind of a, a matte or a satin finish um, powder coated black Let's see, uh, and once again you can build a custom Dodge Daytona V8 uh, front wheel drive just like the last kit. Um, this one's got kind of cool looking decals that you could put on there if you ever did decide to build it that way. And uh, more pictures. Here's the side of the box. And an overall view of what the custom Daytona would look like. And 
on the other side to the box. So that's the second release of the 1984 Dodge Daytona. Many times I've seen this Dodge Daytona model kit advertised as a 1986. I looked over the box and there's no copyright date or anything like that so it's really kind of hard to say. Um, they are still using um, the four bolt rims which was a 1984 only uh, thing. In 1985 they went to uh, five lug nuts. So this Daytona uh, is cast all in red. Um, it's got the uh, rare uh, tan interior. Um, that was an option. Uh, I don't think very many were ever made like that. I've only seen maybe three or four um, ever. So it's a pretty rare thing. Again, this Daytona uh, can be built uh, custom. And uh, there's your optional wheels. That's the stock wheel. The uh, optional V8. And then your factory 2.2 turbo. Here's the side of the box. And here's what your customized Dodge Daytona could look like. And the other side of the box. Here we have a 1987 Dodge Daytona Shelby. Um, the box is copyrighted 1987. Uh, one thing that's not completely right is that I believe those are the Dodge Daytona Pacifica rims which were unique to the Pacifica model. Um, the Shelby wheels would have been um, painted silver uh, the crab style so I don't think that's completely accurate uh, you can build two different uh, custom versions uh, the one on the left says it's a full custom uh, it's got the side exhaust and uh, Daytona on the lower part of the door and uh, twin air cleaners sticking out of the hood and uh, this next one here is a mild custom um, looks like it's just got different wheels on it and the hood has a bunch of tiny little vents uh, cut into it so that's kinda different um, showing with the optional tan interior um, there's your optional V8 engine and uh, a shot of the interior details. That's the side of the box. This is the top of the box. It's got a bunch of different languages written on there. And uh, there's the copyright date, 1987. There's the side of your box. So that's the 1987 
Dodge Daytona Shelby.